Thank you very much for staying with us. It is said that every day is for the thief, but one day is for the owner and law enforcement agencies. As a countless abuse and mutilation of the Naira at event centers and parties, the day of reckoning has come for crossdresser Idris Okunaye, otherwise known as Bob Risky. Operatives of the Lagos Zona Command of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, have arrested and commenced investigation of Bobriski for allegedly spraying Naira notes. The EFCC invited a 31-year-old following a video report of spraying and flaunting what's of new Naira notes at the premiere of a movie at Jakaju in Lekki, Lagos on the 24th of March. Following the invitation by the EFCC, he arrived at the Lagos Zona Command of the Commission on Wednesday, the 4th of April, for interrogation. EFCC said Bobriski will soon be charged to court upon conclusion of investigation. And let's share the story by TVC News Theophila Salama with you. Surprise might not be appropriate enough to describe the news that the self-acclaimed Mummy of Lagos was arrested by men of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Idris Okune was arraigned by the Antigraft Agency for mutilating ones of new narrow notes at the premiere of a movie in Lagos. According to the provision of the Central Bank of Nigeria Act 2007, it is punishable by fines, imprisonment, or both for any person who caught spraying off, dancing, or matching on the Naira, or any note issued by the bank during social occasions or otherwise. This act was enforced when a Nigerian actress, Oluwadara Simi Omoshein, was convicted and sentenced to six months imprisonment for spraying and stepping on the new Naira notes at a social event in Lagos. According to an investigation by the commission, Bobriski had also committed the alleged offence at some other event centres and parties at different times. The social media has been agog with pictures and memes as the arrest took over the space. On the EFCC Instagram handle, the story has garnered the most comments as many asked lots of questions about Crossdresser's arrest. The commission has said he will soon be charged to court when investigations are concluded. With this development, many are waiting with bated breath to see what becomes of this case. Gentlemen, it uh, looks like uh, the EFCC is now uh, serious about restoring the dignity of, of our currency. Okay. Yes, um, there is um, a promo that is currently being aired on TV stations, on major programs, by journalists and out uh, your view, on the need to stop disgracing our currency the way these people are doing. Nobody disgraces the dollar like that. They will step on it, they will dance on it, they will throw it around like confetti. I don't know, apart from Nigerians, I don't know any other people oh, looks like that disgraces their, their <clears throat> currency in the way we do. They don't disrespect other currencies like that. And you'll be stepping on it, just move. And you go to banks, they will give you dirty notes. But there are people who simply sell new notes. New notes. That has to be banned as well. And they should make examples of people sell, I mean, selling these new notes that you and I cannot lay our hands on. Even if you've been um, a customer of a bank for 30 years, you ask for new notes, they will not give you, but some people find a way to get it. And people like Bob Risky or Bob Reckless or whatever he calls himself, <laughs> you know, would be spraying our money. There was a man who um, got a, a, a son who was elevated uh, to sonship level. The other day, who see what they did to Nara Notes. I said, Look at this lawyer and his friends. It has to stop. When we begin to jail, there should not even be an option of fine. Oh, yeah. Let them go to jail. That's the way people will learn. You can see the other, the actress that they showed us earlier, the one that was convinced, see how sober she was. Dan was even boasting then that if you don't have new notes, I have. Yes. So, so what Bob Reckless has been doing for so long. 
the law has finally caught up with her. Mm. I'm not mm. bothered about what she wears and all that. She, she's probably telling God that, look, you are wrong to have created me a woman. I mean, a man. a man. And she desperately wants to be a woman. And there's nothing she can do to turn herself to a woman. There is no art by which you can suddenly develop the genitalia of a woman. Mm -hmm. You are not going to succeed at that. He claims to have so, done some surgeries. He should show us. He should show us his genitalia. Let's <laughs> confirm. <laughs> Let's confirm whether he has the he has the genitalia of a woman. Because I'm confident that he, there is no that technology has not come by which uh, a surgeon will suddenly uh, bless you with the genitalia of a man. And all of the things that she is doing, just putting herself and her family uh, name to shame. If people cannot stop her, because there is no law, according to the police, that bans cross-dressing. But I'm happy in Kano now, there is a law against it. But at least respect our laws. And our laws do not permit disgracing our currency the way they are doing, stepping on it, dancing on it, and doing all sorts of nonsense. You know? So people have such videos. They are, spread, they are uh, spreading such videos. That way they are challenging the law enforcement agencies. That, yeah. Are you going to say you are blind to some of these things that these guys are doing? Now they've got hold of her. She boasts that she knows people. She even told the uh, portable that uh, I'm going to lock you up. Nobody will see you. <laughs> As if uh, even the IG has no power to lock someone up and say nobody will see that person. <laughs> are you the IG? I'll be all our service to all our security uh, agents. You have them in your pocket. I mean, absolute rubbish going on. Dawson, how did you react to that report? Well, it's a good one. And like Vicky said, um, the social media has been flooded with videos of people who have engaged in the same act. And I think it's good for us that this is happening and it also helps us to begin to ask the necessary questions one of which is how do these people get hold of these new naira notes that we don't even have well, there was a time we suffered so much in this country mm -hmm. because we wanted to change currency to ensure a few things including replacing the old ones with new ones. While we can't find the new new ones in the bank, some people have them. And it's what we saw on TV. But I'm happy the FCC has started. Number one for me, they must go after everybody from now on. That's it. Yes. Don't let it be like you are you have a special interest in Bob Risky. Everyone who does it now. I've seen a couple of videos. Perhaps we can let that go in the past, put them in the past. But going forward, we should ask questions. Number two, those who sell new notes, we need to begin to ask them where they get them from. Let's trace it back to where it came from. A lady was jailed, but given an option of finding a battle some weeks back because she was caught at a party with bundles of new Naira notes, up to about 300,000. And when they went into house, they found about another 300,000. So I think questions should have been asked at that point. Where did you get it? Because we need to know those who are selling them to these people so that we can begin to get I mean, so many things we can. But those two are quite important. Nobody should be allowed to go free from right. now on. Just like you said, we hope uh, this doesn't end with Bob Risky. We hope this punishment, this mm -hmm. prosecution uh, spreads across. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's move on. Now let's talk about politics and the common governorship battle.